Welcome to Nonprofit Profiles. I'm Genevieve Riotort. Today we're going to hear about some of the fabulous programs at the YWCA Santa Monica, specifically Girl Central. Here to share with us their experiences as being part of Girl Central are Alexis and Dali. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so hi Alexis. Hi. Tell us about Girl Central. How did you find out about it? How long have you been a part of that program? So my cousin, she's a year older than me, she used to be in the program originally mm -hmm. when there was a different leader. And my mom heard about it from my aunt. She was like, oh yeah, it's this great program, teaches her leadership, she's really confident now. Mm -hmm. And I guess I was like super shy in fifth grade, so, because <laughs> the program starts in sixth grade, so she put me in it. She's like, you're going in there because you need more confidence. And so I was <laughs> like, okay. And uh, so did it work? Are you more well, confident? Yeah. <laughs> you I'm, seem pretty confident I'm to talking me. talking right now. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm really, my friends all think I'm confident. They're always telling me I'm confident. I don't care, I guess, about what people think. That is true confidence. Important. I think it worked. Because <laughs> if you don't care what people think, then that means you're really sure of yourself. So it sounds like it has really been a great thing for you. And what grade are you in now? I'm in 10th grade. In 10th grade. So since all the way since 6th grade, you've been in the program. Mm -hmm. And Dali, how about you? Um, I found out about the program through my PE class. Miss mm -hmm. uh, V, uh, Ver Veron Veronica, she uh, came and she talked about this really cool program at the YWCA that helps girls, you know, build leadership skills and it's like a safe environment. And I was like, that sounds pretty cool. And I wanted to get to know more people at my school. So I was like, sure, why not? And have you been doing it since sixth grade as well? Yes. <laughs> wow. So you guys have known each other for a long time now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and do you find that being in the program, you make some pretty good friendships? Well, yeah. yeah. We started out in there. Well, when you go into middle school, you like it's a whole new environment. Like You don't know everyone. There's mm -hmm. all these different schools coming together. And we had a support system there, like mm -hmm. a bunch of girls who were just like us there. And that was like basically like more friends for us. Mm -hmm. When we went into middle school, we weren't alone. Mm -hmm. Wow. You feel the same way? Yeah, and it's <laughs> like, um, it was like a group of girls that was being guided by, you know, uh, mentors and such to take us through the transition between elementary school and middle school. Mm -hmm. And it also gave us people to go to when we don't necessarily want to talk to our parents or just, mm -hmm you know, need like an ear to listen to us. So it, it really creates a safe space where you can talk about like maybe some personal things that mm -hmm. might be hard to talk about with other people mm -hmm. or parents. Yeah. yeah. And so now that you've been in the program for a while, do you find that you're able to help some of the younger kids? Yeah. Um, Frequently, Ms. V asks us to, um, you know, assist the younger Gia girls mm -hmm. in different things or because we're the oldest group, we're held more accountable during like events mm -hmm. that Girl Central holds. And, and what's Gia? Gia is Girls in Action, and it was the name of our group um, when we started. And it just it's just the names of each group because they're divided by age. Mm -hmm. so. so how often do you go, Alexis? Do you go every day? Is it once a week? Uh, for our group, we are in high school, Gia. So we go once a week uh, after school. They pick us up. We go there, and we stay until, like, 6. And how many girls are in that high school group? We have about 16, 16. 15. Wow. Yeah. And do you all go to different schools or the yes. same school? Yeah. Um, most of us go to Samuel High, but uh, there are a couple. There's like one girl who goes to New Roads. Mm -hmm. so. so there's different representation. And mm -hmm. is the group, um, you know, are there all kinds of different girls in there? Is it kind of a diverse group? It's very uh -huh. diverse. People that come from different kinds of families. Everything yeah. mixed together. It's, it's, so. Yeah, it's very, very diverse. You just you get to talk to you know other people and like there's different lifestyles and it's very yeah it's very diverse and i'm curious uh, dolly maybe you could speak about this first why do you think that this program is important for girls in general i mean for yourself of course but also just for other girls too 
It's important because, like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's it's a very safe place where you can go and just like talk about things that I guess are bothering you. And it also just it opens your eyes to things that are going on in your community that you wouldn't normally see, especially since you're so involved in school. And it just it broadens your um, just your perspective on like life, and it changes it changes what you view basically in a good way. <laughs> wow, very well said. Anything you want to add to that? Like, at school, I'm not saying school's bad, but like, <laughs> we're forced to go there. And mm -hmm. we're, yes, we're learning, but in Go Central, like, we're learning too. Mm -hmm. But it's, we want to be there. Mm -hmm. And during middle school, I think that's the most biggest transition we've ever had as girls. So when we go there, it's a really big support for us. Mm -hmm. And yet we're still learning at the same time. And we just really enjoy going to it. Mm -hmm. It's You want to be there. That's a great thing. Well, I just want to thank you both so much for coming on the show and telling us about Girls in Action and Girls Central and your experiences. I can see that the program must be wonderful if it's producing such beautiful spokespeople who are so eloquent and I think and confident, of course. <laughs> so I just want to say thanks so much. <laughs> All right, and thank you for being with us on Nonprofit Profiles. Next, we're going to hear a little bit about how this program actually works, and we'll be uh, hearing from Veronica Sabagi and uh, Ooh, Ooh, oh boy, I'm going to mess up her name, so we'll just wait till she comes on. Please stay with us. Choosing child care is one of the most important decisions families make. As a parent, you want to know your children are safe and cared for. Connections for Children offers free child care referrals, financial assistance, and parent education programs to suit your individual needs. Let us help you make the child care connections you need. Call Connections for Children today or visit us online at connectionsforchildren.org. Welcome back to Nonprofit Profiles. Now we're going to hear from Unati Mangaliso and Veronica Sabagi, all about the programs at Girls Central. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for having us. So, Veronica, let's start with you. Tell me more about Girls Central. How did it get started? What's it all about? Well, Girls Central started eight years ago. We were approached, the YWCA was approached by the principal at John Adams Middle School, mm -hmm. and they had an idea for us to start a program for their girls to help prevent teenage pregnancy. And wow. so the YWCA was like, absolutely, we can you know, help you out in whichever way we can, mm -hmm. basically. And so they did lots of research, and they ended up developing Girls Central, which was an after-school program for girls only. And at that time, it was only for middle school. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, their intention was to create or to help build confident, well-adjusted teenagers mm -hmm. who make smart decisions. And so it started um, on campus at John Adams. It was very, very small. It started with seven girls. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to say that now we serve over 300 girls a year. So wow. yeah, it's grown a lot and it's still very innovative and it's just, it's wonderful. It's a really great program for girls. Sounds wonderful. And you're obviously producing fantastic girls oh, if, yeah. if those two are any, <laughs> um, any model of, of what is there. So Unati, tell me about your involvement. How long have you been with Girl Central and what do you do as a facilitator? Well, that's a great question. This is actually my first year with Girl Central. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I assist the girls and Veronica in every way that I can. And the reason why I got involved into it is that I have a huge passion for social justice and the arts, like a lot of people probably do and don't realize it. And I realized that by working with youth and especially young girls, it's the best way to change your community, get involved with your community, and really make a difference. So it's been very exciting because I've been seeing that happening with the girls. Wow. Can you tell me maybe a story about how you've seen one of your girls transform? Or yeah, yeah, have, yeah, definitely. Your... Um, one of the girls, <clears throat> since this is my first year, it was in the high school group. Mm -hmm. And um, she seemed kind of quiet, but then I realized that there are a lot of different types of participating. Mm -hmm. You can be quiet and still be there. You can talk a lot and still be there as well. Mm -hmm. And she seemed kind of um, more, more quiet and reserved. All of a sudden I find out from Miss V or Veronica that she wanted to do her own workshop. 
She wanted to bring her own um, whole class lesson and she taught some stuff that was really personal and intense and she stood up and her voice was heard and she was herself and it was beautiful. And so it was really nice to see her courage and her leadership really just bloom within just the short time that I've been there so far. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. That's amazing. So she actually just wanted to produce a workshop and yep. mentor the other girls. Mm -hmm. All on her own, too, which yeah. is great. It was awesome. Yeah. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. So what else happens at Girls Central? Do you, you know, the girls mentioned something about volunteering mm -hmm. and community service. Do you guys do art programs? I mean, what, what all do you do? Well, it's different every week, mm -hmm. which is which is awesome. And you know, Nati and I get together. We talk about life skills or issues that we feel that we should bring up, mm -hmm. and we bring in guest speakers who are you know in that profession to really um, teach them those life skills. We have career panels. We have conferences for girls, mm -hmm. mother daughter nights. Um, you know, workshops that we put on ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we will, you know, have the girls teach, like Unati mentioned, mm -hmm. we'll give them the opportunity, the safe space to mm -hmm. be able to share and, and teach the workshop mm -hmm. of their choosing. But we try to really keep it fun, even mm -hmm. though we're, we're always trying to teach them valuable life skills. We try to keep it really fun and that way they don't feel like they're in school mm -hmm, like because work. again yeah. yeah you know they're at school all day long mm -hmm. and then we're asking them to come to us after school so even though they're learning we want them to be able to just really relax yeah. and have fun and and enjoy but it's different every yeah. week every single day that yeah. makes it really exciting too yeah. and we do the one to ten I love it so much oh yeah every day when they get there we have yes. a check-in and uh -huh. so we'll say like how are you feeling today on a scale of one to ten if ten's the absolute best mm -hmm. or one is the worst how are you feeling and why mm -hmm. and so we always start that way and it's just a really good way to see where yeah, you're at, at you yeah. know because one day you might be feeling one one way and then the next week you're somewhere else so mm -hmm. we want to adapt our lesson to how everyone's right. feeling so whatever you're carrying you can bring it in there and get some encouragement yes. and walk out with a smile or just walk out feeling like it's okay I'm not alone yes that's a big thing sometimes that's so great mm -hmm. I imagine you must see girls really developing some strong bonds and relationships oh, in this yeah. group that's one of my favorite parts, you know, like Alexis and Dolly who were on here earlier, they've been in the group since sixth grade. And so I've been able to see that group in particular grow together. And so it's like you, it's this family that you become and, you know, they're like the sisters and, you know, we're the moms, yeah. but it's just really, really nice because um, regardless of who you hang out with at school, you know that you have that core, mm -hmm. that's Girl Central that you can come to and it, it's your second home. And mm -hmm. they've told us many times that they feel like it is a family and that they, they value it a lot, and so do we, so it's really So special. there's a high school group, mm -hmm. and then what are the other groups? So um, we have fifth grade through 12th grade, mm -hmm. and what we do is we separate them by grades, mm -hmm. because if you can remember, you're different in sixth grade than like 10th grade, things. right? Oh yeah, So yeah. different issues, different questions that you may have. Mm -hmm. um, so we separate all of our groups by grade, and some groups are put together, like our seventh and eighth grade group is mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. But for the majority, we try to everything is everything is separate. Mm -hmm. And how many girls typically are in each group? We try to keep it small, only because again, we want everyone's voice to be heard, mm -hmm. and we really want to be able to focus. So mm -hmm. um, anywhere from ten to twenty-five is mm -hmm. our max. Mm -hmm. But on average, um, I would say maybe fifteen. But there are some events where we have a hundred girls in our space. Mm -hmm. For example, we just had a field trip with Will Rogers and Grant Elementary in mm -hmm. Santa Monica, and 100 fifth grade girls were able to leave school all day, and <laughs> uh, we it. had them there. We in invited other community agencies, mm -hmm. and we were able to teach them media literacy, um, you know, healthy relationships, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Zumba. I exactly, mean, drumming, drumming as well, lots of fun. little bit of yoga. Yeah. So some was, fun things, yes. some exercise, yes. yeah. some life skills. You yeah. sneak in a little money management yes, here and there. Exactly. <laughs> They're getting all of it. You know, they don't even realize because it's all just fun. Yeah. And yeah. do you do the people who come in and do that? Are they volunteers? Can we invite people from the community? To absolutely to come and participate yes absolutely mm -hmm. I think people in the community should know if they want to become a mentor to a girl we have mm -hmm. a mentorship program if they have something that they feel like teenage girls should should know and mm -hmm. they'd be great teachers we invite them to come in if they work somewhere where maybe they want to um, have a field trip for the mm -hmm. girls to go we always our doors are open yeah. for anyone who wants to get involved or donate or anything. Mm -hmm. That's great. So what's your website? How can people find out about it? People can find out about us through our website www.smywca.org. We also have a Facebook page and a YouTube page. 
as well. All right. Well, with all those girls, I bet you're all over the social media. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I want to thank you both so much for coming on the show. It sounds like you are doing just fantastic work. It's I wish I had had your program when I was in middle school because those were difficult years for me, Mm -hmm. certainly. So I commend you for the work that you do and thank you so much for telling us about it. Thanks Thanks for for having having us. us. Yeah, thank you. Well, it was so great to hear about how the program actually works. We have one more guest in store for you, a mom of a Girl Central girl who's gonna tell us about how this program has affected their family's life. Please stay with us. Hey Alicia, you ready to take a hike? Of course, I was born ready. Ah! When hiking, wear comfortable shoes that will give you traction on all types of terrain. Don't forget water, sunscreen, and sunglasses. Go slow, have fun, and always bring a trail map. Right, Alicia? Yeah, I'm like totally lost. Over here, Alicia. Oh, never mind. Take a hike, but always be prepared. The County of Los Angeles Department of Parks and Recreation wants you to take a hike. Welcome back to Nonprofit Profiles. We have with us Deborah Shepard, who has had two daughters go through the Girls Central program. I can't wait to hear all about how that experience has affected their family. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you. So two girls have gone through two this girls. program. Yes. And uh, how did you first find out about Girl Central? Well, we found out about the program through the school. My daughter was a student at the middle school in Santa Monica, and that's how we found out about it. Yeah. And so you have been involved with the program, I think you said, for six years? Six years. So we started out in sixth grade. My daughter's in 11th grade. My oldest daughter's in 11th grade now. And so which of your daughters is still with the program? My oldest daughter, Mm -hmm. the singer, Lucinda. (laughs) (laughs) She's still with the program. And uh, tell Mm -hmm. me a little bit about how Girl Central has had an impact on your family. Oh my goodness. Um, Well, my daughter has special needs. Mm -hmm. She has Asperger's. Mm -hmm. So she looks like a typical child. Is this your younger daughter? This is my oldest daughter. Your oldest daughter. Lucinda, the singer. The singer. Okay. And, you know, for a child that has exceptional needs, Mm -hmm. school can be a difficult place. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I really like about this program, this was a program where they did not judge her. They did not try to set her aside. She was treated just like all the other children, included Mm -hmm. fully like all the other children. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've tried a lot of things with my daughter, but this is this. Girl Central program is what has made the most impact on her life. Wow. So she was involved with other programs that, that were not she's successful? Been in, she's been in a lot of things that were not successful, a lot of money out there. Mm-hmm. But, you know, this program, which we just had to basically pay for her membership or for her to go to summer camp or whatever, this has made the most impact on her life because she, we were never treated in a way that she was different so she needed to be treated differently Mm -hmm. she was always treated the same way as all the other children the same expectations yes the same expectation miss v and the other staff always had so much patience with her Mm -hmm. you know she might get frustrated but they never ever ever gave up on her ever Mm -hmm. and so i i i owe miss v and the, the ladies at the y i could never repay i could never repay Wow. Because my daughter has made a, a 180 degree change. Mm-hmm. She's a wonderful, wonderful young lady with a very bright future. And I, I, I just owe the why everything for that. I do. Wow, that is such an amazing story. How, can you give me a specific example of how she's different now than when she first started in the program? When she first started in the program, she was easily frustrated. Mm -hmm. And she had difficulty communicating when she got frustrated. Mm -hmm. But the ladies at the Y, they just would not give up on her. You know, usually when a child with those kind of challenges, they get frustrated, the program, they want to exit the student. Mm -hmm. But 
And I kept, and I was, I had that expectation. I was like, okay, I'm going to drop her off at 4 o'clock, 3.30, around Wait for the four, phone call. <laughs> and be t- okay, come get her. Mm-hmm. They never called me, and I kept waiting. Okay, when are they going to call me to come get her? But that mm-hmm. call never came mm-hmm. because they just were just committed to working with her continually. And there would be times when we would go there, and she would be having her challenge, and I would be having my challenge, and my youngest daughter, and sometimes we would all be crying to Ms. V, and Ms. V always listen to us. Mm-hmm. The other ladies always listen to us. So uh-huh. I just, I feel like the ladies at the Y, it's just, that's our family. Mm-hmm. Ms. V can ask me anything, anytime. Wow. Anytime she can ask me anything. It's so wonderful that your family was able to benefit from such a great source of support. Yes. Yes. I mean, it, it's hard. I know I'm a mom. I yeah. have, you know, three teenage kids, and uh, I know it's hard raising kids under any circumstances. Yeah. But when you have uh, particular challenges, I can only imagine yeah. how helpful yeah. it must be yeah. to have a place to go. And what about your other daughter? You see, you have a, another one who's in the program? I have another <laughs> one that's in the program. Um, this year she didn't get to participate quite as much because mm-hmm. she's, she's homeschooled and we had a schedule conflict. Mm-hmm. But uh, she's blossoming also. She's a little artist. So uh, she's blossoming as well. And, you know, it's a great place because what I've learned in participating in this program is how to be respectful to my daughters. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times as parents, we expect our children to respect us. Mm -hmm. But I've learned through this program that I have to respect my daughters as well. I have to be loving to them, non-judgmental. One of the things that they teach the girls at the Y is you are good enough the way that you are right now. Mm-hmm. And you know, school can be hard. Yeah. You're not, you know, you're not skinny enough, you're not tall enough, you wear glasses, you're this, you're that. Right. But at the Y, however you come, you're good enough already. Wow, that's such yeah. an amazing thing. It's just a beautiful thing when we can invest in our young people, I think. It right. makes such a difference in their lives, and it's so inspiring to hear how it's changed you and helped you become a better mother. Yes. And yes. I would imagine it's probably helped your daughters have better relationships with each other and yes. better relationships with other people. Yes, they're, they're, they're wonderful young ladies. You know, the work that they do at the Y, Miss V is like a gardener, <laughs> and the girls are like flowers, and she's just sitting there watering and watering and <laughs> watering. The girls just blossom. Oh, it's yeah. so wonderful to hear, and, and the girls that were here are just excellent little blossom beauties. Beautiful young ladies. <laughs> Yes, Thank I you. know them too. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing your story Thank with you us. And me. I really appreciate it. I know that it, it can be difficult sometimes to talk about very personal things. And I hope that your story inspires other people to take advantage of great programs like Girl Central. Thank you. Well, we're going to get to see a little treat, a slideshow of some of the photos of the girls who are involved in Girl Central. So have a look. Thank you so much for being with us on Nonprofit Profiles. I hope that, like me, you're inspired by the great work that is happening at Girl Central and the Santa Monica YWCA.